You know, it's, it's, it's just crazy, okay? Um, you made a note that I tried to dangle your trademark saying that I own you. Like, what are you talking about? Just because I filed your trademark does not mean I own the trademark. Trademarks are public record. You can log in and see who owns the trademark, okay? So just just stop this false narrative of controlling and all this stuff when your life was pretty clean, okay? When I met you, and like you, you in the video, you said the word balance so many times. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I balanced you because I was disciplined. Um, and I had pure intentions in the family, right? It's not like I'm stealing money and hiding it here and doing this. Like, it was pure intentions. Um, it, it's, it's, just, it's just strange to me, this false narrative of controlling. Because you can see what control does, what control, not having control looks like now. It's this. It's this nonsense coming up on this platform here, speaking on personal matters, um... So let me just set that tone there. Um, the second thing that I recall from watching this video is this whole religion talk, okay? Yes, of course, we come from two different back, um, backgrounds. Um, I respected your, your, your culture, okay, fully. Um, and you have to understand that I come from another culture as well. If this is going to work, there has to be some common ground here. And the common ground was, all right, we're going to have this household based off of the basic, you know, necessities of life, such as love, kindness, um, you know, just the, back to the basics, okay? Um, so I, I said that the house had to be neutral because we both come. It's going to be conflicting messaging constantly here. All right. But I still embrace, you know, your culture, your religion. I never threw my religion on anybody's throat. All right. Um, and, and what baffles me about this, um, this whole religious talk here, you know, this is going to be one of the times where I'm going to get a little messy, but like, you talk, you talk all this religious talks, but you have a scandal right now of you messing around with a church leader right now. Like, you can't even control yourself from being a mess. And you want to fuck your way into heaven? You can't do that. Okay? This, this is just crazy. You know, if, if it would be different if you walked a different lifestyle and, you know, you are, you are a woman of faith and you're proud in it, you know, then I can respect that, you know what I'm saying, but like, you're belligerently drinking, you're, 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 you're doing, you're doing the absolute most, and I'm not judging people's religion, but I'm just saying, like, if you don't try to throw that card of religion and all this stuff, if you ain't even practicing the religion, you're doing the total opposite, okay, everyone has their faith, but like, don't try to make it like it, like it was an issue when you're not even walking that path, <laughs> um, let me move on to um, the, the divorce. So there was an event that occurred maybe four years ago. I'm not going to expose this situation that happened in Toronto. And I pretty much was set on filing for divorce. I didn't do it. Um, but pretty much she stepped out of the, the marriage. And I just had this gray cloud um, that always followed me. And of course, you know, like I had opportunities to also step out, but I always chose the family. She keeps trying to bash me that I chose the family and the kids. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and yes, I'm going to choose because I'm always going to choose responsibility over happiness, period. All right. I get it. Women want the full package, and I, under, I respect that. Everyone's entitled to happiness, but I'll always choose responsibility over happiness and keeping the family together because there's no such thing as the grass is greener. There's always going to be problems. Um, so this, this, this card of, of you know, I, we only sticked around because we had kids and we had, you know, different 
you know, operations happen. Yeah, like I had that. Plus, you know, you, you're hopeful. You're hopeful. So don't use this card that I was not, I, I was just here for financial gain. That's bogus, okay? Um, that, yeah, that's just, that's just crazy to me. Um, anyhow, so she sells me this idea to hit the reset button to move to Atlanta. I'm not, I have, yes, I have reservations about it because I was like, yo, you need your family. You need that support um, when I just, you just need that family support. You don't know anybody in Atlanta. Like, I got people in Atlanta. Like, you're not, you're not from here. But, you know, the idea of a reset button was convincing. Um, so we made that move. And um, one month into moving to Atlanta, she goes on this cruise. Keep in mind, like, I had reservations. Not even moving to Atlanta. Um, so one month coming, coming into Atlanta, she's like, I'm going on this cruise. And I'm like, yeah, we, we just moved here. What you talking about a cruise right now? Like... We got to figure this thing all out. You want to go party on a cruise for four or five days? Is you good? What's popping? <laughs> you know? But you know what? I didn't want to be controlling. I was like, you know what? Go. I'm here with the kids in a new setting. Whatever. And I just had this gut feeling that something was happening. So when she comes back, um, plus I got uh, someone cued me that something did happen. Um, you know? She comes in. She doesn't even really greet me. She goes into the room. Okay, this, now we're going to talk about this whole abuse stuff that she was talking about yesterday. She goes into our marital space. And one of the, let me give some context here that's very important here. You know, when we were, right before moving to Atlanta, we sat down with a family member who said, hey, you guys need to stop showcasing your, your, your you know, your bed, your marital space there you got to keep that as a safe haven um, away from the public um, and that was kind of what we we understood moving to Atlanta so when I knew what I knew and I saw her come into the go into the master bedroom and just lay on the bed I was just like the audacity of you to just after you know where you've been to come sit down on this bed right here and I told her, get the hell out of here. What you talking about? There was a hustle and tussle. I never striked her, okay? I never put my hand on her. And that was it. Was she probably scared? Yeah, she probably was because I was, I was angry. Like, how dare you come into, come back from a cruise doing some ish, which you already admitted to in the video yesterday, and lay up in our, in our bed like nothing just happened, okay? I never strike you. I never hit you or anything of that nature. Right? In fact, we don't even, want, don't even talk about hitting. I got like a 20-minute video of you attacking me, okay, with your mom in the video and your assistant, all right? And you know this. You know what? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyhow, I don't want to go there. You know, this is this is just disgusting that I got to come here and defend myself. All right. So that's now. Now there's like damage in the marriage here um and i got my guard up now you know like i'm just moving forward this is like we moved in september this occurred in october um come new year's now she's telling me she's she's pregnant so i'm thinking like did something happen in the cruise to lead forward to this you know even her family asked her uh Asked her like, did something really happen in there? She denied it. You know, nothing happened. Like, sorry, like nothing intercourse wise happened there. Um, but I, I had my my my, my eyebrow up. Like, what you like? Of course, I'm questioning you. You know what I'm saying? And then she she's telling me that um, I abused her. What what are you talking about? Like, we're moving forward with our lives, even though I am, you know, uh, skeptical about things. To, to to say that like I raped you, what are you talking about? Like, that's that that was that was the one thing from yesterday that I was just like unbelievable. And this is what gaslighting is. You know what you did 
two months ago. But to deflect the truth here, you try to throw in this rape BS. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just came back from cheating over there. Don't try to gaslight the situation here and talk about, you know, uh, that there's a, this is rape and this and this and that. What are you talking about? That's crazy. Um, anyhow, you know, this, we're moving on with our lives. The baby comes, you know, and the, our child's name is Aya, um, which ultimately means a sign, okay? I named the child Aya because, you know what, I was like, this is a sign that no matter what, because everybody goes through shit. Ain't nobody perfect. You know, this is a sign right here. You know, to just move forward with our lives. And the problem with that when it was everything just kind of got worse. She got into a snowball of many things. Before even Aya was born, she got into a car accident. Then she delivers the baby. Um, then she had preeclampsia. And I'm here by your side all the time. Um, and, you know... Then she got, she gets into a fight with her mom, fight with her sister. She's firing assistants. Now we're into like February, March of 2020. And um, she brings divorce talks. Nothing really provoked it. She just felt like the grass is greener. And I'm trying to let her know like, yo, I've been by your side. In fact, like I would constantly remind her like, yo, I'm by your side. Like you act like you punched it, like you delivered this baby by, I'm right by your side. I've been there, you know, every step of the way, you know. So I'm thinking like, could this be postpartum? You know, be patient with the situation. Um, so she brings the divorce talks. Before the divorce talks, though, this opportunity for this this reality show comes into the picture, you know, and I was supportive because yeah, I knew like she was ready to take the next next step of coming off the internet, um, so I supported her there. But you know, when she brought the divorce talks, she she I don't know what made her think like that. Oh. There's an opportunity here. I'm going to jump on board. Like, it was never about the money for me. I'm a family man, okay? I've chosen the family time after time, all right? So now I'm telling her, like, I, I'm not doing it. Not to be spiteful, but I'm not going to go play actor in front of the you know national television for the world and pretend like we have this lovely family this, so that it can blow up in front of the world on national television? Hell no. I'm not doing that. There is no, my soul's not for sale, pretty much. Like, there's nothing. There's no dollars. And, of course, you know, she feels like, um, you know, like I am blocking her dream. You know, she's sending family to talk to me about it. And I'm like, y'all, y'all not understanding something here. I'm not gonna go do anything fake for the world. Like, that's just not my, I'm not doing it, period. And, you know, one night I see that my my email is up on her laptop and I see her talking to the lawyer because keep in mind, the divorce is still going on. Um, she is talking to her lawyer saying she wants full custody of the kids just so she can have signing authority to, keep, to get these kids. So imagine now, she comes to me saying, I want you to sign this so the kids can be on the show. <sighs> I was like, why are, you in, why are you in my email, first of all? She was looking through my email trying to find, like, I don't know how she got into my email. She's trying to see my dialogues with, um, with my lawyer. But like, when I saw this conversation she had with her lawyer, I just could not believe how low she would go to, to be on this show. Again, I get it. It's your dream to take it to the next level. But... You, you, my, you know my personality. Like you can't buy me out. Like there's nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not for that. So I was hurt to see that she would take it that far with the kids. And I, when she brought the paper, I prayed to myself, get this paper out of here. You're moving shiesty. You're trying to, trying to get these kids, you know, full pr primary custody. And then that, that's when everything was like she couldn't believe I saw that. You know, um, then family members are coming. Um, to the house trying to talk me into it um, and I'm just like I'm not playing fake man keep in mind now time is going by 
Now that she's trying to uh, 